This is the Mighty W. And what I'm about to talk about is a subject that kind of came up a couple times and I really thought about, should I even really talk about this subject? But hey, I'm going to talk about this subject and what I'm going to talk about is a certain brand of car that is just really egging a couple of people out here to why they even made the purchase to buy that type of vehicle. But there's several lines of that vehicle in the same family. And we're talking about the Kias, the Hyundais, the Mitsubishis, the Genesis. You know, they all under the same umbrella, believe it or not. Some of y'all didn't even know that. You know, when you go buy a Hyundai, you actually buy a Mitsubishi, you're buying a Kia, and you're buying a Genesis product. And they use the same motors, and they're starting to have motor failure. They've been having motor, motor failure since 2010. If you go on to the websites and look at the recall they have on the motors, it's terrible. Some people buy them cars even to present day. When, when they manufacture cars, they have engineers that make motors and stuff for cars 10 and 15 years out. And the engineers get paid a certain percentage up front for the proceeds. They usually go ahead and make these cars, they they go ahead and pay them people all their money. And, and, their, and the price of the car goes up because they gotta get their money back out what they pay the engineers. But when they make a mistake, they have what's called recall. In this case, those four brands that I mentioned to you have that recall for their motors. And now these, they have so many of them, I think they got like almost three million motor recalls they had over the last 12 years and they haven't even fixed a fraction of those cars you know and then some people they go in and do get it done they want to still be out of pocket for something that wasn't their fault you know the motor done sludged up locked up while they driving you name it you know some people you know they be thinking they their ordinary done went out on the car and it be the motor done locked up and, and they done got all the oil changes and all the services and the motor just fails that, that's a shame. You don't pay almost anywhere between twenty to forty thousand dollars minimum for a car, and then three or four years later the motor goes out, and you don't even know anybody thinks you got a great product, or you don't bought one and had it, but like a year or two and traded it, got a, the same product again. You think you got a great product and you liked the old one because the size was too small, and you need something bigger, but you go back to the same product, and that just deceived me. But hey. I'm glad the W is pointing this out to you. You can do your own research on that. But what I'm telling you is the truth. It's not what I think is the truth. But hey, leave the comments below and tell me what you think. You know, I just hope people out there that have those vehicles looking at this video, you know, don't feel no type of way. I'm just informing you what you have. And at some point, the, 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 the ride is going to be over. You know, it's just like, I don't know if you remember back in the 80s, they had the Yugos and then they had the Daewoo and they all went extinct, you know? So you, you gotta be careful buying what you're buying and, and hopefully it's a brand that's gonna last a lifetime. Now, don't get me wrong, all cars can have some issues, but having a motor issue is not one of them you wanna have. But hey, hope y'all enjoy y'all weekend. I had to shed some light on that. You know what to do, like and subscribe, hit the bell, share it with your friends. And you always remember, the W tell you this, Good times or bad times, keep it rolling, you know what time it is.